I welcome all your viewers in today's video. Today we will discuss about application layer of the TCP IP model. We have already discussed about other layers of the TCP IP model now. We will end with the application layer. The application layer is the highest abstraction of the TCP IP model that provides the U interface and protocol needed by the users. It combines the functionalities of the session layer and the presentation layer and the application layer of the OSI model. It is the topmost layer in the model and the functions of this layer are it facilitates the user to use the services of the network. It is used to develop network based applications. It provides users services like user login, naming net network devices, formatting messages and emails, transfer of files, etc. It is also concerned with the error handling and recovery of the message as a whole. The application layer in the OSI model is the closest layer to the end user, which means that the application layer and the end users can interact directly with the software applications. The three functions which we are going to discuss is identifying communication partners, determining resource availability, synchronization of communication. Uh, the identifying communication partners. The application layer identifies the availability of communication partners for an application with data to transmit. Determining resource availability. The application layer determines whether sufficient network resources are available for the request, requested communication. Synchronization. All the communications occur between the application requires uh, cooperation with which is managed by the application layer. So this is the diagram which shows the transport, sorry, which shows the application layer uh, in the TCP IP protocol suite. Mm, this uh, diagram shows how uh, different protocols are used by the application layer. Some of the protocols are Telnet, FTP, HTTP, ADNS, and SMTP. We will discuss each of them in our next slide. So these are the main protocols used by the application layers. Some of them is uh, HTTP. It is uh, it stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This protocol allows us to access the data over the World Wide Web. It transfers the data in the form of plain text, audio, video. It is known as hypertext transfer protocol as it has the efficiency to use in the hypertext environment where there are rapid jumps from one document to another. FTP. FTP stands for file transfer protocol. It is a standard internet protocol used for transmitting data uh, for, uh, for transmitting the files from one computer to another computer. SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. The TCP IP protocol that supports the email is known as Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. This protocol is used to send the data to another email address. DNS. DNS starts for, stands for Domain Name System. An IP address is used to identify the connection of the host to the internet uniquely, but people prefer to use the names instead of addresses. Therefore, therefore the system that maps the name to the address is known as Domain Name System. Telnet. Its abbreviation for, it is an abbreviation for the terminal network. It establishes the connection between the local computer and the remote computer in such a way that the local computer appears to be a terminal at the remote system. SNTP. SNTP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. It is a framework used for managing the device on the internet by using TCP IP protocol suite. Now, the service provided by the application layer. The here, we have listed five categories of like the services provided by application layer protocols network virtual terminal an application layer allows the user to log on to the remote host to, to do so the application creates a software emulation of the terminal at the remote host the remote host thinks that it is communicating with one of its own terminals so it allows the user to log on File Transfer, Access and Management, FTAM. 
it and it, it is an application allows users uh, to access file in the remote computer to retrieve file from computer and to manage file in the remote computer addressing to obtain uh, communicational uh, to, or to obtain communication between client and server there is a need for addressing while client made a request to the server the request contains the uh, server address and its own address the server responds to the client request and request contains the destination address that is the client address to achieve this uh, kind of addressing dns is used mail services an application layer provides email forwarding and storage last uh, no second last is directory services an application contains a, a distributed database that provides access for global information without Mm, like about uh, various objects and services last is authentication it uh, authenticates the sender or the receiver message or both so that's it from today's video we will we will meet again in our next video thanks for watching